Hi. Um, there's not a whole lot to do today with uh, the bees. They just have to refill their feeders, which are all empty now. Um, then I'm going to open them up and check uh, some small high beetle traps I put in last week. I made a video for you of me doing that and explaining what I was doing, but it seems like everything I did was out of frame. Um, somebody had asked me for uh, a tour of the apiary and this is it the whole thing uh, there's five colonies here right now uh, at one point there was six but I combined two of them uh, this right here you can still see some of the paper hanging out from when I had combined those I uh, had wanted to keep bees for several years I had a garden one year that nothing was nothing was producing anything and I had a friend say you need bees so they can pollinate all your cucumbers and cantaloupe and watermelon and stuff like that because I was having to go through and hand pollinate everything the the thing was where I lived I couldn't keep bees uh, it was a large subdivision and the covenants in the homeowners administration uh, in the HOA those covenants didn't allow for beekeeping they specifically said no keeping bees so uh, shortly after moving away from there and purchasing my house here uh, where there are no covenants this, this there is no homeowners association um, shortly after that uh, is when flow hive had launched their indiegogo campaign and I immediately jumped on it it was kinda like the catalyst it reminded me oh yeah you need bees you've been wanting to do this uh, I joined a B club, two B clubs immediately. Here, I went to B school, and ended up winning another another uh, beehive, a uh, a starter hive with a bottom board and a box and ten frames in the inner cover and cover. That time, so I went ahead and ordered a second nuke because I was going to have two two beehives, which was great. So I started out with uh, two nukes. There were three frame nukes, uh, and so I put three frames of bees uh, in the brood box on the flow and three frames of bees in that 10 frame box uh, right here they multiplied real fast they were very prolific the queens were good at what they did I guess the drones were good at what they did with the queens before I ever met them uh, it didn't take long for this eight frame brood box to get up to over 80 percent capacity so I added the second brood chamber. This one took a little while longer because it's it's got you know 20 some odd percent more space. The reason there's five uh, colonies here is uh, through some mistakes I made. They were starting to get honey bound. When I added the second brood box, the flow was on real heavy. They got a little honey bound in here and started making some swarm cells. Based on that, I decided to go ahead and do a split, and I did it into this or one of these brown uh, brood box what I had ended up doing was inadvertently I, I didn't know it at the time because I, I killed my queen yes making a video good morning dear um, I had inadvertently killed my queen so when I went back to inspect a week later there were emergency queen cells all in the flow hive. I was a little panicked and a little upset, but I decided to make lemons out of lemonade, or wait, lemonade out of lemons, and do some more splits uh, into that nuke box down on the end, I think. So I did a split with some queen cells in there. They had their queen cells. Uh, at any rate, everybody made queens, and everybody, uh, all the queens went out and uh, were open mated. They came back, they all started laying eggs. It was all fine. Um, but while I was worried about what was going on here and in the split, these guys were busy getting ready to swarm. And I had, because I was so busy doing work with this and panicking, and work over there. I forgot, or work with the split, I forgot to inspect. So, they swarmed. 
and they actually ended up swarming twice, and I caught both my swarms. So one of the swarms went into the green box, another swarm went into the yellow nuke box on the end, uh, and I'm getting bumped by bees. I'm kind of in the flight path, bouncing off the top of my hat. So that's basically how I ended up where I am. Uh, ultimately, I've got these five colonies. My goal now is just to make sure that they have enough food and that they aren't try trying to fight any parasites or pests uh, so they can make it through the winter. And there's a bee that's not real happy with me right now. I don't know where she went. I hope you uh, enjoyed my... <coughs> it's not really... Someone asked for a, a, an apiary tour. I don't have to walk anywhere to give you the complete tour because it's all just right here. It doesn't take a lot of space. It takes commitment and time and a little bit of money. It's, everything costs money. Uh, what you get back out of it is, uh, is worth way more than, well, it has no dollar amount. It clears my mind. It's very cathartic in a way. I enjoy it and I like uh, what I'm providing back uh, to the environment with uh, these pollinators that are unrelenting in their work. I don't have a whole lot of land here. I've got uh, just under half an acre. We're right outside the back of my fence um, and I've got neighbors immediately to my left and right of the house who are all real happy that I have bees and I gave honey to all of them. I don't know if I bought them off doing that but they've all got honey. So that's that. So let me go take care of the bees.